Okay, we're going to be live soon. The final live stream, at least I hope. You know how, how many takes this took just to get it right? Um, because one time I forgot to record the sound. You know oh, yeah. Takes we're live. Awesome. Get it right. Okay, I just heard myself. I never thought I'd see myself on YouTube. Um, back in the day, they used to call it podcasting. And when you, had to, when you wanted to podcast, there were only like a few... Um, like maybe there were a hundred podcasters in the beginning and I was one of them. And in order to podcast, um, you had to write the code to get your RSS feed up and then you had to put em embed the code in your MP3 file and then you'd have to do this and that. And then, you know, it finally caught on but no one knew what a podcast was and now you have live streaming and this and that. And, you know, some of the guys that have, um, you know, that, that never um, stopped podcasting or whatever you call it nowadays, um, you know, are doing pretty well now. Me, I tend to like go up and down. I'll start again, stop again, start again, stop again. All right. Um, so this is going to have your Pavo Pico up and running. And this video is thanks to one of our viewers and subscribers and brought to you by OBS um, Studio. Not really, it's not sponsored, but um, the uh, one of our viewers actually recommended using OBS Studio, which is a free open source streaming software. And special thanks to, shout out to Afix. Thank you. Um, really appreciate it. He's watched a lot of videos and, um, you know, I guess he saw me live. I was up at three in the morning and apparently... Um, so it was Afix and, he, and I was just trying to experiment with something and he's and then he's like try OBS and I was like oh my god that's so cool and it's just you know everything just happened magically and um, I want to share with you guys the solution uh, that in real time because there are some questions like what did you do and the video was working for some and not for others and so the, which wasn't real so I'm going to take down the other video because it doesn't really it's not I say not, it's not working for, maybe it's working for 50% and the other 50% no, but this will work, it's guaranteed and it's gonna happen live, okay? So um, now that we see that we are live, I'm just gonna close this. Special thanks again, Afix, for the live streaming solution. Um, I'm actually using Reflector, it's a, like a real time, uh, whatever you see on your phone, pushes to your computer wirelessly. Uh, because I had to return the Osmos Action 4 because it was overheating and it actually thought I was underwater. Why? I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, the GitHub, okay? The, the link will be in the description below, okay? I just want to pub, 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 plug in the Pavo Pico, okay? So that we can, this, this will all happen. This is basically all you have to do, all right? I'm just going to move this to the side because we, we, you know, we don't really need it. And so we're gonna click here on the um, Pavo Pico version two. And then what you'll do is you'll scroll down a little bit. You see the zip file, just select it. And you know, I put a little text there, what to do. Basically it tells you the same thing. So you want the zip file, okay? Because if, if you've never used GitHub before, it can be overwhelming and people are like, what do I do? Where do I go? So remember, I clicked on the zip file Okay, and now I'm gonna bring my mouse over to this little thing right here, and then click download. And then the file should download onto the desktop. This is all happening in real time, um, live. And then I'm gonna go here. See, it's right there, including the OBS Studio, which is nice if you guys wanna stream. And then it's gonna extract it. Okay, now you see I opened it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the file, file Pablo Pico Fixed Text, TXT, okay? I'm gonna open it, and then I'm gonna press Command All to copy it, or whatever keys you have, copy it. And now I'm going to close it, okay? Close it, close it. Now I'm going to open up um, Betaflight Configurator. Uh, we can I guess this should work on any version of Betaflight. I'm going to choose 10 since it's the latest one. All right. Um, now I'm going to connect. I'm going to run down after the um, firmware pushes, you know, after it pastes it in, what some of the changes were that I made that actually got it up and running. So now I'm going to um, move this over to the side. I have to keep moving it because I'm live streaming and I want you guys to see the... Um, Pablo Pico taking off into the sunset, into the sky, if 
it lets me, I believe I just put another battery in, is that right? If not, I'll have to go get another one. So that's just gonna push the new firmware, uh, which I configured for you uh, to get your Pablo Pico up and running. It should work out of the box. I don't know why it doesn't. And there, every time I downloaded the, sometimes I would download it from the website, it, it pieces would be missing. And it wasn't because I chose a different firmware because, you know, it just was just glitchy. But the firmware that we have right here is what I downloaded before the Pablo Pico came to me. Every time I get one of these FPV drones that require firmwares, I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. I always download the firmware and, um, you know, see what it's like, try to configure it. And um, I had done that with this. And then I remembered when it wasn't working, I was like, oh, I have a, a version that I, from before, you know, from before the other one was pushed. And that's why this one is working, okay? All right, so until I'm still waiting for beta FPV to get back to me so they can just, I say, send me a direct link to the exact firmware to download because this is not working, but this is, okay? So we go to connect and so they should get back to me tonight. And when they do, I'll put together another video step-by-step, step, okay? Because in the meantime, I downloaded it and tried it step-by-step step and it didn't work. Okay, ports. Oops. Ports is fine. By default, we know what that is, right? And maybe I can move this up a little. Oh yeah, I could put that up here. Just not on the top right because that's where I am. All right, so you turn off three. We're not gonna do anything because it's all done for you. So I'm just going over what the settings are. You are at four, right? And then we went all the way over VTX. Uh, you are at five is turn on a serial RX, all right? And there's no need to save anything because you just did the CLI, you know, you pushed it that way. All right, for this, what I had done, I turned everything off here and left OSD on, okay? And then there was something else. I left to turn this on for the beeps because I like the beeps because sometimes if the drone crashes in the trees, one time it was actually in a tree and I was able to turn it on and then everything started and it just fell down. So if you're in an area like that, it's not open, you want the beeps. Not all of them, but I just have all there. And then the arming, when the firmware downloaded, it was it had like 20 or 30 degrees, whatever the degrees were. So I changed that to 180, okay? And then um, for here, I just have to move this a little bit so you guys can see mm, that pretty much. Oh, battery and power, no, I didn't touch that. That stays the same. Uh, presets didn't touch anything there. PID tuning, there was something missing in the filter settings, which was not um, clicking when I had gone into one of the other settings. There was something with the gyroscope. And I just said, you know what? Because I was getting an error, something, I forget what it was, but it was an error related to um, some sort of whatever. Anyway, so the error is fixed. And then as you can see, the throttle limits, the throttle limits were not correct. And that has a lot to do with the modes. So you see how it goes from 1,000 to 2,000? It wasn't in the right area. And so like AUX1 was correct, but it was 1,000 to 1,500. So I would click the button and see where exactly the settings were. And they were not correct in that sense. But that either it didn't matter because it still flew. And what was causing it not to fly was something else, on, I believe, on the motor section. Um, so as you can see, I have this Horizon AUX1. Angle aux one, beeper three. The reason why I have the beeper is because the beeper kind of works as a back button. When the drone crashes, this text appears on the on the screen. And when I press that, it goes back and then you can go into launch mode again. Um, if there's another way around that, please do share. Um, we have beeper. Uh, so that's beeper. And uh, so yeah, beeper is beeper. It doesn't really work. Oh, but it doesn't work. But in order for it to beep, you have to activate it. So by having beeper and aux three and then that range there then it just beeps all the time which is fine which is like when it's not flying of course it doesn't beep while, while it's in the air um, but if you delete this beeper it, if you have it on in the R rx section it's not going to um it's not going to beep and the flip over after crash works as a back button so back to motors all right so this is where uh things got oh so as you know it's d shot but there was this was on bio Biodirectional bio bio D shot, and um, which there's another part that was supposed to be in the PID section, which would allow that to work better, but it didn't because it's missing. So I just shut that off, and it's not missing because I deleted it, it's just not in the firmware, if that makes any sense. And then I had done, I believe that was it, 
and um, you know it just made sure everything was up to par with your um, with your receiver. You know, you have to make sure that the throttle is where it needs to be, the throttle limit's set, and there, you know, there are ways to fix that. But everything is set in here to work with the Pavo Pico, okay? And then motors, and then OSD, and then that's it. The OSD is customizable. This is just preference. I just put this here for me, um, but you can change all that. I just need to know the angle, or the, uh, what is it called? You know, what mode I'm in how many rotations, because I like to keep it at a certain point so I know um, if it goes beyond, let's say, 50 or 60, then it's too fast for me. But this is for indoor rates, which are set. Oh, speaking of rates and the PID tuning, these are the rates so that it can fly inside and nice and smoother and slower and not so uh, Barry Allen and bullet time. So this is not the bullet time experience where things just happen. One, two, like, no, it's going to go nice and smooth. And the Pablo Pico does fly really smooth. They did something to the chip and I got 10% left. So we have to get this baby up in the air. See the foam battery. They sort of like a little 10% thingy. All right. So enough of that. We're going to disconnect this, turn everything on, and hopefully the um, drone or Pablo Pico has its, will go in the air. Turn that there, leave that there, leave this on, turn these on. See, you hear it beeping? It's like on life support system. This one's not going to make it, doctor. Someone's calling me from, it's probably spam. Spam! I don't want to pick it up because, um, because, um, I don't want to lose my connection. That's weird. What's that? Oh, because it's in photo. Oh, I hate when that happens. I'll just quit that. Actually, since I'm doing... Oh, I'll just go back to video. Whoop, portrait. Pano. Oops. Photo. Video. All right. So, it should work. Whoops. We'll just zoom in a little bit. No phone calls, please. All right. Zoom back in that way. All right, and then zoom up a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. Just look into the screen. Nice uh, remote controller. What? Okay, that's fine. I might have to reboot again, but that's all right. And so now, voila, Alexa, continue. Now let's see if we can bring it back. What? Whoops. Okay. Alexa, volume five. Let's see, we we'll reset. Press the back button to, you know, bring the text off the screen. Nice, no errors. Crash flip, back again. And it's down, right? One, and it should start again. Sweet. And now, whoops. It's a little, um, it's a little, whoops, too fast for me, but it's all right. I can still manage it. I just have to figure out. Bring it back. Come back to me. Voila. Again. All right, let's see if it does it again. All right, so let's throttle down, backspace. Backspace and then, um, voila again. So, this is all happening live in real time. When in doubt, throw it out. Pablo Pico, my chico. Whoops, bring it up a little bit again. Up and down, and right and left, and up and down. Sachet and crash. All right, voila. Again. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. It's still working, still going. So, Alexa, stop. So that's pretty much it. We got the Pablo Pico up and running. Whoa. <laughs> I hope this video helped you.
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Oh, backspace. There you go. And I'll see you all, whoops, next time. All right, let's see if I can bring it back. Oh, backspace, there we go. Throttle down. Throttle down. Up, up to start. I think the battery died. Oh, there we go. Did it beep, backspace, and then Oh, battery died. Bummer. Anyway, let me have a peek inside. Oh yeah, crash flip. Hor oh, no way. Wow, that was hor horizon mode. Hmm, acro, angle, remote controller. Good, it's working. When it's set. And up. And up. Backspace, battery's dead. All right. Let's see if I can at least get it up. Get a little bit of juice out. Oh, you see, look. Um, not battery, the um, unit overheated. Yeah, that's okay. We know it works. And I'll see you all next time. All right, so enough for that. Now I can go to bed. Not really, I got to go back to work. All right. Now I have to get up and, and, and get the drone. I just can't bring it back. All right.